akaanza ku nini kufuga hyenas kuna nyumba fulani hapo hivyo ilikuwa tu dark ndani alikuwa amesulubisha na moja yenye metolowa ngozi na zingine kadhaa zikiwa hapo chini za kuulinda hiyo hyena nyingine sasa ndio ilikuwa kama Mungu so hizo zenye ziko hapo chini zimeuawa ama ziko hai ah hizo ziko hai hizo sasa ndio kama guards zilikuwa kama ngapi eh tukia approximate kitu kama tisa hivi uh-huh. mm. uh-huh, so tuka tukaka hapo anatuambia ati the more tuna fast uh-huh. the more Mungu atakubali na tukikufa tunaenda kwake direct uh-huh. na tufai kupeleka watoto hospitali ama kitu kama shule hivi So like yeye alikuwa amewaambia watoto wafai kwenda shule. Eh watoto alikuwa amesema hospitali na shule hizo ni vitu za dunia na za kupeleka jana. Uh-huh. Mm. So ni nini napeleka watu direct mbinguni kulingana na yeye? Alikuwa anatuambia tu to fast uh-huh. tukiomba na tutaenda mbinguni direct. Okay kuna kitu muongelelea about room fulani iko na hyena or something. Hiyo 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 kazi hizo ya hyena ilikuwa nini? Hizo wa hyena kuna wakati yenye huyo pasta alikuwa akiomba anatoka anatupea nini kuna kaa ile holy communion alafu anatupea dawa fulani ya white uh-huh. na sunda hapo ina dissolve sasa hiyo 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 dawa ni nani anapewa aswa yani wa shirika ile venye mnapeangwa nini inaitwa holy communion uh-huh. sasa anakupea na hiyo dawa unaweka ina dissolve yenyewe uh-huh. alafu hiyo maji inataka inakuwa red so utafast hadi ukufe uh-huh. ukisha kufa sana unaenda kuona Mungu uh-huh. lakini bado kuna room moja ilikuwa ameweka sio fisi afto me kumekunywa hiyo ile communion hiyo ofisi yenye ilikuwa imetolewa ngozi hiyo sasa ndio ilikuwa kama Mungu. Uh-huh. Eh tunaenda hapo kwa ujelewi unaomba unaabudu unaendelea kufast. Alafu kuna time ya pasta alikuwa anaingia huko. Anaenda anaabudu huyo hiyo ofisi. Alafu hizi zingine za nyezi ko hai zina mlamba lamba. Uh-huh. Eh, alafu tunaenda tunamtoa baadaye. Uh-huh. Asa nyinyi kama maasha ndio mnamtoa huko. Eh si kama maasha ndio tulikuwa tunaenda kumtoa. Mm. Ah yes, hello hello my good people. Good day, good evening, good morning, good afternoon from wherever you are watching us from. Uh today we are still following up on the story of Pastor Mackenzie as you have uh, as you have all seen. It's a story that is trending and a story that has hit the headlines or uh, in social media and all other platforms. It's a story that is very interesting and as well as controversial because uh, how can a pastor do that? Because uh, uh, there, there are more than uh, there are more than 35 graves that have been discovered on uh, on in this guy sa uh, boma na hizo kaburi inasemekana kuna watu bado wanafukuliwa uh, uh, the last time i checked ni 82 bodies that were were excavated from the graves na ukiangalia vizuri ni story yenye imekuwa imekuwa linked directly to uh, pastor Ezekiel mwenye wanasema amekuwa uh, rafiki wa karibu wa pastor Mackenzie na ni story yenye tunaendelea kufuatilia kwa upole ndio tuwalete whatever happened so that you, you know ni nini kimefanyika ni nini akijafanyika tunatembelea watu tofauti tofauti ndio tu pata views zao ndo tupate uh, uh, the clean evidence of what happened there are very many approaches that have been done on social media uh, including very many things uh, including cult and all those things so today we are still following up on the story and we are going to give you the clean story from the beginning the beginning till the end so before to let story tumetembea mahali fulani panaitwa elbago na huko elbago tumekuja kupatana kijana mmoja ambaye aliwahi kuwa asha kwa hiyo kanisa Mwenye wakati wake ukifika atajintroduce na atatuambia story yake huko ndani kunaenda aje. Lakini meanwhile before we proceed to the video, I will always remind you before you go ahead, make sure you subscribe. Ukisubscribe kuna subscribe button iko hapo chini. Click hiyo button. Ukisha click hiyo button, kuna kakengele kana kujiwa hapo a bell icon. Click that bell icon finya hiyo kengele so that every time we are uploading new videos to this channel wewe ndio utakuwa mtu wa kwanza kutumia notification kuambiwa kuna video imekuwa eh, imekuwa uploaded so make sure whenever you are watching our videos first thing first before you proceed you subscribe hebu finya hapa subscribe button ndio tuendelee na his story so we are going to talk to him he's going to give us his story we have traveled all the way the previous uh, there are videos we have posted about uh, a lady who saved herself from the church kama uja watch hizo videos please go back and watch those videos diko tu hapo chini si mbali sana you go and watch those videos usikie evidence yao msichana ni gani kulienda aje na anasema ni nini kilitokea so hey mambo poa sana Ebu first of all kuna jamaa na kuacha huko nje anataka kujua huyu ni nani anaongea na relationship yake ama relationship yake na kanisa ya kanisa ya uh, Pastor Paul Mackenzie ilikuwa gani? Ebu jiintroduce tu kidogo. Mm, kwa majina ni KK kama unaweza Kevin Katana. Uh-huh. Uh, mi 2017 ndo nilijoin kanisa ya 
Mackenzie tulikuwa tumeenda trip huko Shakahola mm-hmm. then hiyo kanisa yake kanivutia nikakuwa pasta nikakuwa mfuasi huko mm-hmm. mm. so like ulikuwa umeenda tu huko trip kutembea and then uh, okay nini ilikufurahisha na church mahubiri ama nini eh uh, bado pasta alikuwa na ubiringi fiti kwanza alikuwa na teaching nzuri kutoka kwa bible mm-hmm. ndio kanivutia kwenda huko mm-hmm. Okay sasa after that ebu tupatie story yako hivyo since 2017 all the way to now that ulifika mahali kama utaki your church tena kulienda je ebu tupatie tu story yako your experience kwa your place ah uh, your place ilikuwa anga fiti by the way 2017 nika, ikakuwa poa 2018 2019 nikafanywa asha juu ilikuwa real sana kwa church hiyo uh-huh. 2019 eh uh, 2019 uh-huh. uh, nikaka 2021 hivi hiyo uh-huh. pastor ka Mackenzie akaacha kutumia bible akaanza kutufunza kutoa ndani yake mwenyewe anasema Mungu anamuongelesha uh-huh. na akaa ni bible alitumia, alitumia alisoma tu hii book ya revelation peke yake uh-huh. so si tukakuwa hapo akaanza kunini kufuga hyenas kuna nyumba fulani hapo hivyo ilikuwa tu dark ndani uh-huh. alikuwa amesulubisha na moja yenye metoloa ngozi uh-huh. na zingine kadhaa zikiwa hapo chini za kuulinda hiyo hyena nyingine sasa ndo ilikuwa kama Mungu So hizo zenye ziko hapo chini zimeuawa ama ziko hai? Ah hizo ziko hai hizo sasa ndio kama guards. Zilikuwa kama ngapi? Eh tukia approximate kitu kama tisa hivi. Uh-huh. Mm. Uh-huh, so tuka tukakaa hapo anatuambia ati the more tuna fast uh-huh. the more Mungu atakubali na tukikufa tunaenda kwake direct uh-huh. na tufai kupeleka watoto hospitali ama kitu kama shule hivi. Uh-huh. Mm. So like alikuwa amewaambia watoto wafai kwenda shule eh watu walikuwa wamesema hospitali na shule hizo ni vitu za dunia na za kupeleka jana. Uh-huh. Mm. So ni nini napeleka watu direct mbinguni kulingana na yeye? Alikuwa anatuambia tu to fast, uh-huh. tukiomba na tutaenda mbinguni direct. Okay, kuna kitu muongelelea about room fulani iko na hayana or something. Hiyo 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 kazi ya hizo hayana ilikuwa nini? Hizo hayana kuna wakati yenye huyo pasta alikuwa akiomba, uh-huh. anatoka anatupea nini kuna kaa ile holy communion alafu anatupea dawa fulani ya white uh-huh. na sunda hapo ina dissolve sasa hiyo 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 dawa ni nani anapewa hasa yani wa shirika ile venye mnapeangwa nini inaitwa holy communion uh-huh. sasa anakupea na hiyo dawa unaweka ina dissolve yenyewe uh-huh. alafu hiyo maji inatani na kuwa red uh-huh. so unaona ni yenyewe ni damu ya Yesu uh-huh. so unakunywa ni kama ilikuwa ina kitu ina to brainwash hivi uh-huh. so unakuwa brainwash unafanya tu Kenya anakuambia So hiyo kitu hiyo hiyo maji ilikuwa inatani na kaa ni kama damu. Eh hey, inakaa kama damu. Uh-huh. Hey, unaona ni damu yesu unakunywa. Okay so like tumesikia story tofauti tofauti zenye watu wanasema ati huko hivyo watu walikuwa wanakunywa damu. So ilikuwa damu ama ilikuwa hiyo maji? Ah ni hiyo maji alafu ukiweka hiyo da ukiweka hiyo dawa ya white uh-huh. ina change into red na kaa damu. So hiyo dawa nikikuuliza tu wewe we, nyinyi kama maasha ndio mlikuwa mnaekea waumini ama waumini wenyewe ndio walikuwa wanajeka hiyo dawa asi kama asha tulikuwa tunatembea tumeiwekea kwa plata hivi uh-huh. tunatembea muumini achukua na yako maji uh-huh. mm. so maumini wenyewe ndio walikuwa wanajiwekea eh waumini wenyewe ndio wanajiwekea hebu uh-huh. mm. tuambie kidogo about history ya kufast tuelewe vizuri ai kufast ilikuwa as in the more na fast the more tenda mbinguni alikuwa uh-huh. atuambia ukifast utaenda upatae na Yesu uh-huh. na Mungu uishi maisha mazuri ile yenye inakuwa kwa Biblia na alikuwa anatoa verses mingi kutoka kwa ile kitabu ya Revelation. Uh-huh. Mm. So so that's why mlikuwa mnalazimishwa ku fast ndio 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 muende mbinguni direct. Eh juu wengi wanatamani kuenda huwa tunatamani kuenda mbinguni uh-huh. na tukuishi maisha takatifu. Uh-huh. So the more tulikuwa tuna tuna nini tunaendelea kufanya hivyo tulikuwa tunajua tutaenda mbinguni direct. Uh-huh. Ndipo 2021 maneno ikaanza uh-huh. kuharibika akaacha kuhubiri uh-huh. tena ndo alirudi juzi juzi. Na sasa kuna hii, hii kitu ya kusema kwenda kuona Mungu. Hii kwenda kuona Mungu ilikuwa gani? Hai kwenda kuona Mungu ni hiyo sasa nyo kisha fast. Uh-huh. Ufast ukisha fast utafast hadi ukufe. Uh-huh. Ukisha kufa sana unaenda kuona Mungu. Uh-huh. Lakini bado kuna room moja ilikuwa ameweka fisi hiyo fisi uh-huh. after umekunywa hiyo ile communion hiyo fisi nyingine ilikuwa imetolewa ngozi hiyo sasa ilikuwa kama Mungu. Uh-huh. E, tunaenda hapo kwa ujelewi unaomba unaabudu unaendelea kufast. Alafu kuna time ya pasta alikuwa anaingia huko anaenda na budi huyo hiyo fisi alafu hizi zingine zenye ziko hai zinamlamba lamba, lamba. Uh-huh. alafu tunaenda tunamtoa baadaye uh-huh. 
Asa nyinyi kama maasha ndo mnamtoa huko. Eh si kama maasha ndo ilikuwa tunaenda kumtoa. Okay, kuna hii story fulani yenye watu wanasema about Pastor Ezekiel. Sijui kama ushaimuona kwa hiyo kanisa akikuja kuhubiri ama kulienda. Ah, uh, Pastor Ezekiel mi kibinafsi sijaimuona lakini walikuwa wanakutana na Pastor Kisiri. Uh-huh. Sana sana. Eh yeah, sana sana walikuwa wanakutana na Pastor. Uh-huh. Mhm. Hii place ime, imefukuliwa watu ambao wamezikwa. Wewe ushaifika hapo ama mambo yako ilikuwa inaishia hapo kwa fasting room? Ah, uh, si kuna wakati tulikuwa tuna wenzangu walikuwa wanaenda wanamsaidia kuzika hizo nini hizo miili za watu wanyo walikufa juu fast mm. so u, kuna watu specific walikuwa wamechaguliwa kwenda kufanya hiyo kazi e, kuna maasha nyo walikuwa wamechaguliwa wame specific uh-huh. ndio wanaenda kufanya hiyo kazi uh-huh. ndio na sasa okay kuna hii hii hi place yenye pasta anaonekana maybe ako na nguvu za za kuponya watu nini kuna madawa alikuwa anatumia ama ni nguvu zake tu ama ni nguvu za hiyo ofisi ama ni uh, hiyo pa kuponya ni ile unali, alikuwa analipa watu wanajifanya kuwa watu wameponywa wame wamefanywa ama wame wametibiwa uh-huh. kitu kaya hiyo uh-huh. mm. so kuna watu walikuwa nalipo kufanya hiyo kazi eh yeah, walikuwa nalipo sasa okay process ya wewe kulipo ni gani ni mtu unaenda huko hivi unajitambulisha unamwambia ama kuna watu specific walikuwa wanachaguliwa mahali yani ni kama venye unaenda tao unauliza uh-huh. mse unataka do eh yeah. uh-huh. twende ufanye kitu hivi 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 uh-huh. alafu nikulipe pesa fulani mse anakubali uh-huh. So hiyo ilikuwa kazi yenu kama maasha kutafuta watu. Eh, yeah, hiyo ilikuwa kazi yetu. Uh-huh. Yeah, na sino tulikuwa tunawalipa bado tunapewa pesa na pasta tunawalipa. Uh-huh. Mm. So majorly ah, watu walikuwa sana sana from Kenya ama kulikuwa na nchi zingine huko ndani. Bado tulikuwa kuna nyingine walikuwa natoka nchi zingine. Uh-huh. Eh, kaa Uganda kulikuwa na wengi walikuwa natoka Uganda. Uh-huh. Na huko. Uh-huh. Okay, so we hadi ukapewa cheo cha kukua Asha kani nini ilikupush ili, ili sana ukaamua wacha utoke huko hivyo wachana mambo hiyo kanisa a mi kenye ni push ni ile azin venye alikuwa na abudu hizo ofisi alafu akaacha kutumia bible alafu anatuambia tu fast hadi wakati tutakufa ndio tuwe tupatane na Mungu hapo nikaona nikatia shaka nikaona hapo si pazuri ndio nikaamua nipange njama kutotoka kutoka huko na sasa okay u, u hiyo place tumesikia ni vigumu sana utoke huko according to the story yenye tumepewa na the previous lady the mwenye tulikuwa na wewe mm-hmm. well, ulimanage aje kutoka huko hivi nukatoka uhai uh, kuna wakati venye nimewaambia tulikuwa tunaenda kutafuta watu tao tunawalipa so kuna wakati tuli nini tulienda kutafuta watu town tukapata watu kadhaa nikaambia wenzangu nimeona mtu ajenda ni mwa approach nikaenda nikipota yanga hivi mm-hmm. yeah. so Mlienda kutafuta watu wenye wanajifanya wameponywa na pasta so that's why ukaepa. Eh yeah, tulikuwa tumeenda kutafuta hao wenye watajifanya wamepona. Uh-huh. Ndio. So wakati ulihepa huko uliamua aje? Uliamua that's why ulikuja huko Elbago na ama uliamua aje? After niliepa nilikaa huko nikasikia wanatafuta waniue. Uh-huh. Ndio nikatafuta mbinu nikakuja huko Elbago. Huko at least nao niko safe kwanza venye pasta ameshiku. Uh-huh. Sawa si tumeshukuru sana kwa kutupea story yako. Sana sante. Ah, uh, sawa. Thank you, thank you very thank you, thank you very much guys for watching this story. It has been an amazing story from a, a guy who is called Kevin who who was once an usher in the church uh, uh, of the alleged controversial pastor. Ni story ambayo is very interesting story ambayo ni inatishia sana because it's 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 less expected for a church to 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 do such activities. Uh before you proceed to watching our next video For you to be notified when we upload a new video you have to subscribe to this YouTube channel and after you've subscribed to this YouTube channel the bell icon that comes after the subscription button make sure you click that bell, bell icon in, in in that whenever we upload a new video to this YouTube channel you'll be the first person to be updated whenever we post any data in this channel until next time guys keep it hooked keep it subscribed for the next video thank you